Um, so, so basically I, I mean, to spoil yeah, it, like yeah. the, the painting is of Misty from Pokemon. Yeah, and I was like, and it's not Misty, it's her off-brand sister Foggy. <laughs> like... Hey puppers, welcome- oh, gotta fix my hair. <laughs> welcome back to Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Okay, so in the last part, uh, we found our first cackle bat, and now we're going to see. Well, we got a court summons, so we gotta go to court. To court. See for yourself. Yeah, we go through doors. Okay. And this is Sky's Hatchery. <clears throat> the hatchery. I really like that, like black and red egg in the back. It looks like lava. Yeah. Yeah, we got like all kinds of like mysterious eggs in the background here. All right, so we're gonna borrow a library card Can and I become your the page library master. Card. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a library card? The page master. Horror. Horror is <gasps> for you, boy. Aww. Just like, sir, I just want to get out of the rain. I know, You're he's like, I me. literally just came in here because it's storming outside. I'm and 12. I almost got hit by lightning, and I'm a little afraid of everything, and this is really traumatizing for me. <laughs> like, please, just give me a phone so I don't end up home alone. <laughs> <laughs> Took you a while. I had to, like, do the dorky little smile <laughs> to be like, You okay? Delayed reaction, <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. All right, we're in Scarecrow Fields. I like the design of these guys. Ooh. Little scarecrows with their pumpkin bombs. They are cute. Maybe I could do a little painting of those. Ooh, yeah. That'd be fun. Go for it. You're doing quite a few paintings. You did a whole yeah. batch. Uh, recently, and you actually recorded one. Yeah. So we're um, gonna have a video coming up I mean, up it, it's a little off. Okay. Um. You know, I think it was very, I was a little nervous, to be honest, to be, like, recorded. Oh, okay. Um, so the colors aren't quite spot on, but you can definitely tell, like, who it is. Yeah. It's just the off-brand. <laughs> just, all. just wrong it's enough. It's just wrong enough. So Nintendo can't be like, hey, that's our character, and you're yeah. like, no, it isn't. I'd be like, no, it's not. Look at this orange. <laughs> it's not orange, it's red. Look at this color, it's different. This is her off- what did you say? Her off-brand sister. Oh, yeah, um... So, so basically I, I mean, to spoil yeah, it, like, yeah. the, the painting is of Misty from Pokemon. Yeah, and I was like, and it's not Misty, it's her off-brand sister, Foggy. <laughs> like, um... Yeah, because I, I mean, even, like, in the sketch, mm -hmm. I could tell it was going to be a little bit off, but I, oh, I just okay. couldn't put my finger on how to fix it. Okay. Um... And even after letting it set for a few days, I still just couldn't really imagine how to fix it until it was like mm -hmm. already done. And technically, I could still go in. Okay, and, so like, real important. Change some right things. up there, there's a heart squid that's out of my reach. That just lets you know. It's the kind of like Metroid designed where it's just like, okay, You'll have to go I back gotta come back get, here. She'll get some so later on, I'm gonna get a power up boots. that makes me like realize that I can jump higher. Okay. And in my brain, it's like the game's not gonna tell you. In my brain, it's gonna be like, oh, there was that heart squid back there. Yeah. I can go get it now. Yeah. That's Metroid design. The game's not gonna stop and be like, Hey, you can go back and collect that heart squid. Now you... You're just supposed to know. See, I feel like what I'm eventually gonna have to do is, like, play through, for Metroid, play through the whole thing. Yeah. And then, like, almost restart from the very beginning once I've reached the end. Okay. Because I'm not gonna remember. I'm not gonna remember where those things were. I might remember that so they So you're insist. going to go until, like, right up to the final point. Yeah, then and you're then gonna come through. And find all the things that I couldn't get before. Because it's like, okay. I'll remember that there's something there. Mm -hmm. So I'll be like, oh man, where was that heart squid at? Mm -hmm. But I won't remember where it was in the game. Well, what's nice is you can always just pull up part two of uh, Gaming Cats and Dogs yeah. and be like, ah, there ah, it is. There it is. I knew we made this playthrough for some reason. Because <gasps> um. like, that's what I'm curious about when you actually play some of these games that you haven't played yet. Is, yeah. I'm stuck. Remember that playthrough we did <laughs> last summer? Well, that's, I think that's the thing. Like, even after watching you play it, it helps me play it because there's mm -hmm. not as, I don't have gamer brain where it's like, yeah, you can jump on this or, oh, you, you can't go any further. That means this, that, or the other. Mm -hmm. Like, I just get frustrated that I'm doing something wrong mm -hmm. and I can't move forward. 
Um, so like watching you play something and then playing it, I, mean, I have such a bad memory that it's right. not like, I remember every single thing you do, but it like sparks that little bit of memory. We're like, oh yeah, wait, remember there was something I had to do here. Mm -hmm. So. Look, Bolo's babysitting little the, zombie babies. The undead kids. Mine. Undead kids. We need flesh pops for them so they can leave them alone. Oh. Otherwise, they'll start gnawing on his flesh. When you've got three flesh pops. All right, so we got to go to the sewers <laughs> beneath the like, palace. He's just like, I might die here. <laughs> I need some help. Hi. Hi. <laughs> What's up, sir? Oh, don't mind me. I like the little bird on top of the I cat. I know, that's cute. <laughs> tweet, tweet! Tweet, tweet! Oh, he's a traveling brochure that's a very salesman. That's interesting profession. Mm -hmm. You must have mm -hmm. some exciting things in your travels, huh? She's like trying to be nice, like, I need something from you. Hi, I need a little something. I hope you don't mind. Oh, your generation makes me sick with your arrogance. Okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is relevant. He wants his vacation brochure. It's disgusting. Okay, you aristocratic She's just putz. like, wow, I was just trying to be nice. Ah! Rude. It's Squid Baron. Aww. Oh, fuss and frick. Squid Baron. Squid Baron, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, you know, post-boss syndrome. Now that you've embarked <laughs> on a new adventure, I feel like I'm destined to become some kind of filler boss. Aw, I'm not sure I follow. You know, I was a major enemy last game, but this time, I just feel like we're gonna battle again just to round out the package. Package? You wouldn't understand. I need to get away, someplace warm. Maybe it's time for a vacation, Squid Baron. A change of perspective could do you good. Perspective? Shay, you might be onto something. I've always had a fairly flat view of the world. Kind of staring at the same four walls, you know? Repetitive, high stretch music? I could use a change of scenery. There you go. If you think of a good vacation spot, please let me know. Me now I'll go cry in the corner. Aww. Mm, poor guy. So yeah, he was a boss from the last game, and this time he's just like, well, there's no use to yeah. be. I guess I, I'm just going to be a real boss. You, I see what you mean by the game is very self-aware. Yeah, the game is self-aware. It's kind of like Deadpoolish in a way. Yeah. It breaks the first, fourth wall. The first wall. Fourth wall. Could be the first wall. Could be the fourth wall. We don't know. The first wall. Could be so many, you know. Um... So now we're in the sewers, and we gotta collect three flesh pops. Okay. Is there just like a zombie down there making flesh pops? Flesh pops are collectible items. You can actually heal them for like the smallest bit of health. And there we go, we got them. Awesome sauce. Cause like every time we defeated an enemy, it dropped a flesh pop. Okay. See, I'm. Was this originally created in English? Uh, maybe. I think so. Okay. I'm always. I believe uh, Way Forward is like a uh, English. U.S. area. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say I'm always just curious, like even with the Japanese games that are like redubbed for yeah. English. Um. There's weird translation issues. Well, if like. Because the English always seems to use, like, a lot of slang, a lot of dialect, yeah. a lot of, like, generational slang. Yes. Um, like, when he just said awesome sauce. Like, yeah. If this was Japanese, did they have, like, an equivalent of the 90s? Right. Like, great. Where, how, like, we would say awesome sauce. So. Mm-hmm. I'm just wondering, like, if it's the same in different languages, where, I'm like... I'm pretty sure, because, like, Way Forward originated from just doing license games. Very good license games, but yeah. license games. Based off, like, Saturday morning cartoons. Right. And then they decided to make their own IP, uh, which was Shantae. And they have another one called, like, Mighty Switch Force or something like that. I've okay. never played it, but I've heard of it. And, um... Shantae is like their their Mario, for lack of a better term. Yeah. They have like five games. She's got quite the following. So how would um, she end up in Smash Brothers if she's not necessarily a Nintendo character? So Sakurai, the creator of Smash Brothers, after he like made all of like the mainstays, he reached out to other developers and be like, oh, would you like, we, I'd like, can we, like, use, can your we use your character in Smash? We have characters from Final Fantasy in Smash. We have okay. characters like Tekken. That's not a Nintendo character. Okay. We just saw that Nintendo Direct. Kazoya, I think his name was. 
Okay, so there's nothing we can do here. Again, we're gonna make yeah, a note of this for back. later. There's a lot of backtracking in games yeah. like Metroid in this. But it, it makes it exciting and fresh well, because like, you get the like, power up and you're like, yeah. oh, that was for the thing See, back there. I got thing. it. I feel like if the game isn't too terribly big, like if the map itself isn't completely massive, uh -huh. then it would be easier and more fun to like backtrack. Okay. So, because I had, that was like one of my qualms playing Link's Awakening. If you oh, remember, okay. like in the beginning, I was like, I was just there and now I have to go all the way back. And like, I was kind of angry about it at first. Yeah. But then I really liked it once I remembered the pathways of how to get from place to place. And you discovered warp points. Yeah. Yeah. I was able to open the warp points and then I was just like all over the place all the time. Yeah. Metroid um, is exactly like that. It's going to seem huge, but then you're going to unlock like warp rooms yeah. and like shortcuts and, and all kinds of things. And that's when I'm like, I really like the it. The entire world is when interconnected. You, that's the beauty can, of like, it. When you warp back and forth and you know, do those things. Like, not only is that impressive to play, but that's fucking hard to design. Yeah. You have to have this w room line up to this room. Right. To make a shortcut, to make it seem cohesive. Oh, to make I, it also I seem know. Like a after believable like world. after watching you design an RPG maker and like where stairs go to and like where you come out versus you know all of the other options. Yeah, and like, even like yeah, the way I, I do it is like very really rusty, but and... in time, like I do want to make like a cohesive world. Yeah. To where it's believable, to where it's just like you go here and you end up there. You put this shortcut and you end up there, and right. it makes sense. Right. Like that's like what I'm building towards. When I make games, I always want to, like, just improve a little bit. Like, when you think of Nintendo, they started with Donkey Kong. They didn't start with Breath of the Wild right. or anything. They, they started small and they built forward. The origins of gaming started from, like, humble beginnings. Well, yeah. So I feel if you're going to develop games, well, don't start that. by being like, I'm going to make the next big Zelda or right. God of War. Think more realistically. Be like, I'm gonna make we're the gonna, next Pac-Man. We're gonna make Oh Milo. Yeah, we're know? gonna make Oh Milo, so, which will be our like Donkey Kong. Or yeah, whatever. super simple. Dig Dug. Just fun, you know. And then you you make the building blocks. Whereas like, Fantasy Forever is basically just like my Final Fantasy. Right. Just my personal Final Fantasy. Nothing complex. Nothing really ambitious about it. But at the end of the day, it's just to like oh. understand the basics so you can make a game. Again, that's my philosophy. I'm not some renowned developer by a long shot. So th that's just my takeaway. And that's what compels well, like me to keep making. Well, I feel like it's like that with anything that you're doing new. Yeah. So like if you're new at writing, you're not just gonna sit down and write the next, you know, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. You know, you're gonna write something simple and probably pretty bad and then I feel like a lot of artists there. want to right oh, yeah. off the bat want you, to like, like write well, the Lord who, of the Rings who doesn't who exactly. doesn't want to just sit down and do something spectacular right off the bat yeah like, no one wants to be like I'm gonna fail 37 times and then I'll get it like mm, exactly. you can have that mentality of like okay so this one didn't work it's fine I'll get there but like, yeah, I want to no have tries like, to fail. the spirit of like that inventor girl from yeah. uh, My Hero I Academia. Because she just like could go through one thing. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, what about this? Ooh, yeah. that. Like she just has the excitement of creating. Right. And that's what I get for the most well, time. Well, she doesn't like, get I just, knocked down by failure. Exactly. I just like creating. Whether it's a masterpiece or whether it's just something people just enjoy. Yeah. Whether it's just like shit on the road. Yeah. I just like creating things. I like writing. I like designing games and ideas, uh, making videos. That's just what I like to do. It's uh, my lifeblood, really. Yeah. It fuels me. Yeah, it, like, we both have a lot of ideas, and it's just a matter of doing them. Yeah. Like, sitting down and really just, like... Because, uh... No, so the grind's down. You... And uh, we don't have yeah. to talk about this now, but you are thinking of writing a concept. Yeah, um, something that isn't really out there for like tweeny boppers and the book world. Just we like working at a bookstore, we get asked for these titles a lot, and we just they just don't exist. Like we don't have them. Um, yeah, so there's like a genre that you want to yeah, see if you can where tap I into. Kind of flesh out some options for kids that are too old for, you know, the youth books, but not quite old enough for mm -hmm. young adult titles. 
Yeah. So just really giving them some options to read. Yeah. So just yeah. researching them. If you're an them. avid watcher on this channel, if you're one of our pupper pack, yeah. you'll probably you'll, see you'll or see hear. You'll hear about it. Yeah, about how it's going. So yeah, I'll look forward to that. Okay, so now that we have a map so that we can set sail, we can leave this area. But I do believe we have enough heart squids. Mm. She takes the heart squids and melts them down Aww. to make more health for you. <laughs> Those poor squids. That's their purpose. Yeah. We live to die. Oh, look how happy they are, though. And there we go. Max hearts have increased by one. Nice. Now it's like the start of a Zelda game. Yeah, where you can start getting more hearts. Three hearts. All right, I got some rupees here. Let's buy some more. See, his chest jiggles too. <laughs> <laughs> we can address this if you want. It's, it's okay. It's more like his vest. <laughs> his vest, okay. Ooh, I can learn the back dash. That's neat. Hmm, do I want that or do I want some shampoo? Or silky cream conditioner? A little bit of everything. Upgrade that stuff. Okay, we can learn recover. Okay. So recover is definitely one of the next moves I wanna do. So when we get hit and she like jumps back, if you hit recover, she'll flip and get back on her feet immediately. Okay. What? We were doing some very funny commentary. We were trying our best. <laughs> All right, there we go. A map of the Forbidden Isles. She's like, my back hurts. My boobs haven't stopped moving since <laughs> we started the game. Yeah, you're right. Shantae herself doesn't really jiggle yeah, that much. Sean, she just bounces all over the place. She, her hair, she, yeah, her she hips. has like a harder bounce. We were talking the first like first time that we watched the game, like that I was seeing gameplay. Yeah, like this is the first all time of the girls, it. with the exception of Shantae, their boobs just never stop moving. Like boobs, they're like don't the elder princess shrubs. Yeah, they just like <laughs> just like all over the place. Like boobs don't work that way in real life. Aha, uh -huh, saying hello to the steam-powered tinker number two. I understand it's a game, Mark but... two, what happened to the first one? You happened to it! Get on board before I change my mind! <laughs> okay, so here we go. This is the island select screen. Saliva Island, and mm. then we got all these other islands to explore. Oh, okay. And then it loops back to Scuttletown. Okay. So here we go. Our first destination is Saliva Island not very appealing of an island title, especially with that giant waterfall. I see what you did there. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very appealing. All right, here we are. Saliva Island. So basically, oh. <laughs> Je <laughs> I got pirate Where'd you clothes. get those weird clothes below deck? There's I'm all ready. kinds of fun stuff to wear. <laughs> Aww. Uh-oh. Rude. You couldn't go a second without making a fat joke. Uh. Shame. Uh. Killed the mood, I see. God, <laughs> I just, just like, I heard you powered down. Uh, I think Brrr. my soul just left my body. We should have just kept talking. Shouldn't have read. <laughs> uh. Well, because it's like, it's new and I don't, I mean, you click through so fast anyway. That it's yeah, good like, point. Um, all right, but so, just to see like where the story's going. Yeah, just to keep on track. What's the plot doing? Fat jokes. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's just it's so cheap. Yeah, it's a cheap knock. Oh, we're gonna make a girl game. You can't do anything without. Whoa. Big boobs that don't stop moving and fat jokes. Not just skulls, but crabs as well. <laughs> all right, so that's a bubble shield. So, the power-ups that we collect aren't just healing items. Like, a pike ball actually has a pike ball circle around you to serve as both a shield and an offense. Oh, okay. A bubble shield gives, like, a bubble around you to give you, like, an extra defense. Nice. Uh, we'll get monster milk, which powers us up, okay. giving us a temporary boost in attack. And, um, again, auto potions you don't have to use. Just when you lose all your health, it automatically regenerates. Yeah. So it's always nice to have an auto potion in hand in case you're like in the heat of battle and you're not paying attention to your health. Right. Instead of just dying and having to start over, the auto potion just regenerates. Okay. They operate similar to fairies in Zelda, if you're okay. familiar with yeah. them. Yeah. Get out of here, you little imp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Next part, more Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Doodles.